do you see this, guys? <laughs> Two thousand four hundred nineteen thousand one hundred and ninety six divorces in the year twenty twenty one in the United States of America. Now, what I'm about to do is let you witness who initiates those divorces. Check it out. Now, that study says it's 70%, but if you check the CDC websites, it's 80%. And if she is an educated woman, it's higher than that. It's upwards of 90%. You want to roll the dice and take these type of chances, guys? She's going to leave you. After she done went to girls' nights out, went on girls' trips, sucked and fucked a whole lot of dicks. Hmm? She gonna take your kids away from you. She gonna speak fucking death into your kids' ears until they hate you. It doesn't matter what you do for them. Hmm? The other guy, if you all had property or house, he gonna be fucking your ex bitch. In you all share marital boudoir. This what you want? Huh? See, feminists, if you're looking at this, I'll always have numbers on my side. You can't dispute it. You can have all the feelings you like. You can be triggering it. <laughs> Wipe your fucking fake crocodile teared eyes. You bitches, you want to cook. You want a monkey simp that you'll have at home while you go out and get boned. And he's supposed to stay there. He's supposed to sit there and not say a motherfucking thing. He ain't supposed to say shit to a funky bitch. See, those are the few percentage of marriages marriages that uh, survive, but they only survive on paper. It's because the man is too henpecked. To just say, fuck this bitch, man. This bitch going out with her girlfriends. She doing trips. She got tattoos. She getting BBLs done. She going out having a whole bunch of thotty fun. See, those are the marriages that stay together. When the guys just say, fuck it. It's cheaper to keep her. Feminists, you got something for me? Hmm? Do you want to come with some ad hominem? Would you like to come with some feelings? Would you like to say I'm fat? Would you like to say I'm a fragile dusty? Would you like to say I'm too vulgar? Would you like to say I'm musty? Would you like to say, what did I say, bitter? Did you like to say I'm gay? you like to say, oh, you got a black mama too. Come on, let's pile it up. Get it on out. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Let all that motherfucking bullshit out. Now that you've let it out, let's get back to those facts and those motherfucking stats. You can't motherfucking combat that. <laughs> I love this shit. And you know what's going to happen? Guys, these bitches going to still suck my dick. They're going to still let me beat that fucking asshole up from the back. With my BBC challenge shrimp dick. And while I'm fucking them. You know what they're going to be like. Why you got to be so mean Maurice. Bitch shut the fuck up. While I slap them fucking ass cheeks. Shut up you fucking cunt whore. Take this dick. Okay daddy okay. I get it all the time guys. These bitches. Wiring is so fucking fucked up. They're like, why? Why am I so intrigued by you? Why? Why do I like you, bitch? Shut up. And just sit back and take the truth, and suck this dick, and let me motherfucking shoot my load all over you. But I ain't marrying you. We can have a good time, but marrying you—that's a goddamn crime. I'm up out this bitch. Feminists, 
304 thoughts suck my dick